Oh, where did you get the food? Yeah, you got cookies and Cheetos, man. Oh, can't beat that. Can't beat that. That's a bold statement. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night. Another night in this hell I've been kicking and tripping The cops just threw me in jail Got my fingers in ink They got my head on the lights Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight Just get me out Just get me out When people get arrested, it's important for us to determine whether they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. It helps us kind of predict what their actions are going to be. That way, we can get them through the process without any problems. Who has the right to say that you have to be somewhere yeah. on a certain time at a certain place? Hey. Let it be known it wasn't my fault. Sit down. Sit down. I was going to say. I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to be quiet. I was going to come talk to you, though. I don't want you to come talk to me. I want you to sit there and be quiet. <laughs> Chich. Nobody. Nobody wants to talk to you now. You've talked enough. Follow instructions. No, I'm trying. I know. Well, uh, I'm trying. So uh, did you uh, bring Derek in? I did. What's up with him? Well, he was uh, traveling on Las Vegas Boulevard near the Cosmopolitan. Hit uh, two part stopped cab drivers. Any injury? Yeah, to his passenger and to the vehicle in front of him. So what do you get charged with? He's got charged with DUI drugs. He's definitely under the influence of something. What kind of what? drugs were you doing? Honestly, none. This is a lack of sleep situation. This is just alcohol? I have been wrongfully accused. So how did you end up here? This is probably the craziest story you've heard in at least a week. OK. I, so I decide okay. to go to the IHOP. Oh my god, oh my god. Are we really doing this? I'm really scared. Go ahead, keep going. And I, I place an order, and the lady, she brings the coffee out, right? Mm -hmm. I pour myself a cup of the coffee. Come on, boop. Ah! Okay. Ah! Little baby poop. She brings out the coffee, and as she puts the plate on the table, knocks my entire cup into my lap. Now, it gets better. When the cops show up, I'm standing there, basically butt naked, wrapped up in a blanket. You Ask took him. your clothes off in the IHOP? I had to. I look like a kilt, so to speak. Okay. It's kind of jumbling a few things. Uh, we weren't at IHOP, were we? Did, did, I, did I make it sound like we were at IHOP together? No. The it biggest does. part that we missed was a car accident. That's oh. that's how we got there in the first place. There you go. What'd you hit? It was a four-car pilot. My, my car is total. My car... Okay. Both. How about the other people that you have? How, how are they? They are all fine. They are? Yep. None of them went to the hospital? Dude, scuffs. All right, come on. Let's go outside. Man. Okay, go that way. You see those shoes? Oh, watch out. Oh, so where do you get that food? You got, you got oh. cookies and Cheetos, man. Oh. Can't beat that. Can't beat that? That's a bold statement. I think you can beat that, man. Look at those beans. That's yours. Go ahead. Grab it and eat it. Huh? Wow. Oh, oh no. I got you. Let's do this. I'll hold this. Thank you so much. Get over to your seat. Well, the problem was that seat was wet, you know? Whoa. No, it doesn't taste like water. Sugar water. It's even better. City punch. They call it city punch. I swear to God. What are you here for today? Uh, a taxi cab. These Vegas taxi drivers are ridiculous. I was driving probably 10 to 15 miles an hour in the far right lane, just getting ready to pull into my hotel. Literally, out of, out of nowhere, this guy, I'm just driving along. Yes, I, I might have been adjusting the radio knob or something. This guy burns in right in front of me when the car in front is at a complete stop. I, I slammed on the brakes as fast as I could. Nothing I could do. Right into the back. I hit her probably at six miles an hour. Yeah. tops and and on top of that she was probably going too so the relative speed of impact is like 3.8 miles an hour it's pretty close all right hey, eat I, your lunch before you can shake hands right. and nails, right are they, 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 are they dirty you're all right you're all right Been okay. good luck to you Thank have you a seat you. okay all right all right i'm gonna try to eat those beans i don't know how it's gonna work we'll come back and check on you a little bit all right look at those beans my mother would be sick to her stomach
patrol vehicle out there, possibly uh, code five. We're gonna find out right now, see what's going on. Las Vegas is egregious in our actions. What's going on? What happened? Class two. Class two? Yeah, just a class two class for two. Um, battery on a, um, on a citizen. Look at my face. And so, because of his actions and the way he's acting, yeah. I couldn't let him just trespass him off the um, Property. thing, so I had to class two. All right. Okay. I've got his stuff in the front what's, seat. What's going on? He was a class two. I figured out. Come on. You coming from a nightclub or what? What happened to your face? Class two, right? Or rather, class five or whatever. Class two means you're uh, in, and out of, in and out of jail. What about class five? What's that? There's no such thing as threats that I've been getting this whole night. The whole night? I mean, I'm not blaming you guys. This is your friend. So you have to take the burden for it. Now you're in jail now. You know, this road right here, all the way down to the very end, medical center screen. He came in for a simple battery. I guess the officer tried to just let him go, and he didn't want to prove his behavior. He's going to have to be transported to the jail instead of going to the street. So we'll have to watch him see if he uh, calms down. He looks he's still a little aggravated. You don't want to tell me what happened to your face? I got violated is what happened to my face. In what way, sir? In the way, bro. Obviously, I'm you not have broke. glass stuck in your face. Okay. So don't ask me any questions, please. I went to Morehouse College, idiot. Uh, sit down and face him, OK? Same place Herman Cain went to. Same place Spike Lee went to. Huh? Some unique with a brain, dummy. Are you done? You don't even have an answer for that. Back your book ass up. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Huh? Get up. Get up. Let's move. Come on. Okay. No. Take it easy. I asked you to get up, sir. Yeah. Ask first, and then allow me to respond. Get up. Come on. No, no, no. I'll, I'll get up. Come on. Take I'll, it I'll, easy. Let me help you. Let me help you. Cause you All right, dude. Roll, dude. roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You going to get up? Roll Show your, me roll, how to walk. Lift okay. me up there. Come on. You going to be a little baby? There you go, man. Come on. Teach me how to walk. Get up. Let's move. I asked you to get up, sir. Roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You gonna get up? Come on. You gonna be a little baby? There you go, man. Come on. Teach me how to walk. 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 walk. Sir, let that go. Come on, Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Oh, yeah. Roll them over. Roll them over. Roll them over. Hey, my neck, my neck, my neck. Relax, relax. Relax, relax. No, you're not. All right, listen. We can go out here and put this on. All right. You calm now? Okay. Yeah, you Three. Go. There you go. Fly this way. Back. Legs. Hey, who was trying to teach me how to walk again? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you ain't up here talking that no more, huh? Lance is my only son. Relax. Do exactly what they tell you to do. Be absolutely calm. We'll have no problems, OK? All right, let's come free. Place them on the wall in front of you, OK? Once you hear the door click, then you can come off the wall. What happened out there? officer brought him in. He was really upset and belligerent. When he got in here, he was still kind of upset. Just wouldn't answer my questions, and he started getting uh, real verbally abusive towards me. So I told him to stand up. Let's go to the back. And that's when he just dropped his weight. Wouldn't walk on his own. So I helped him up once, and then he started getting squirmy. So he pushed me against the wall, and he started just um, fighting his back. He got it close to me, ripped up with my pocket. We were able to subdue him finally after the officers had got there. I mean, all this for a class two misdemeanor, which would be out in like two hours. All right, good job. Thanks. What did you get arrested for? Guilt by association, apparently. What are they saying you're guilty of? Apparently, my ex-boyfriend, I had went to go rescue him because he called me and asked for a ride. And well, sure enough, apparently, now I'm involved in a series of 406. Burglary. OK. Well, I'm going to have to change you out of that uniform. So Please do. You can't be walking around in that uniform. I just wanted to know, what is she here for? Oh, uh, she's here for, she has a uh, robbery warrant out of North Las Vegas. Okay. So North Las Vegas 
put a warrant out for her arrest, mm -hmm. and we stopped her boyfriend in the car on the freeway, oh. and he had marijuana in the car. And um, he said I was, because we knew the car, you know, she was registered under the vehicle, we knew she had the warrant. So okay. what we did was we just said, well, where is she? She says, oh, she's working at the mall, oh. down on the strip. So we went down to the strip and picked her up at the mall. All right, well, thanks. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on. Why do you think you're here? Oh, I already know. You already know? Yeah. A 406, which be a burglary. OK, so you know it's a, actually a, a, a warrant for robbery. So you were saying guilt by association. This is something with your boyfriend? Yeah, he, he had me pick him up. I had no idea what's going on. Yeah, I mean, if you're saying guilt by association, you need to look hard at who your friends are, right? Oh, yeah. My actual goal is to go into Homeland Security. Oh, OK. Well, maybe you'll get this cleared up. So, you're so gonna... basically, I am being charged at this point. You're being charged, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. you're in custody, detained, and charged. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Check back on you in a little bit. A little bit of a conflicting story going on there. Pauline is here on a fugitive robbery warrant. She, it's a little more serious than what she originally told me. She told me it was burglary, but a little more serious than that. It's kind of sounding like she's caught up in something a little more complicated than she wanted to tell me about. Let's see what happens. Oh, what's happening, guy? So what'd you do? What do you do? Uh, I, I, I've been here for a warrant. Warrant, yeah, I feel like you're too Well, I, I'm, I'm homeless. You're homeless? Yeah, I'm homeless. What, what kind of drugs? Oh, I, uh, alcohol. Alcohol, that's it? That's it. And alcohol got you? Well, uh, a little bit of weed every now and then, no, but... Uh, it's yeah. gotta be some alcohol. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't do no crystal, no coke, no heroin. No heroin. No, 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 no spice, no. No OCs? No, no, no. no. So you're telling me that you, the only drugs you use is alcohol, alcohol and weed. Dirk, oh. let's go. Picture time. Yeah. Mug shot. Picture taken. Yeah. Right there in the red box. Come on, come on. Listen, try to, try to be nice, all right? All right, listen up. Do you have any tattoos? I actually do have one thing you might want to know. Uh, uh, don't and show me. Foot. Tell me first. That's a web foot. See how there's only four? All the way spread Oh, out. look at that. It really is, isn't it? That's a I've never seen that before. If you move that lint, you got to Do you go swim fast because of that? Dude, I can beat I can beat Michael Phelps. I believe it. I put, put your shoe on. I put Phelps in the dust, man. man. All right, have a seat right here for me. Yes, sir. So, Thank you so down. much. Sit down. Right. So, you know, you got booked in for DUI oh, yeah, drugs. All right? The story you told me earlier, a yeah. little bit different when I talked to the officer. Oh. Evidently, some people got sent to the hospital, OK? There was two taxis involved. Both had passengers and drivers, OK? Right. The one taxi driver went to the hospital, and they said uh, possibly one or two of the passengers. Um, evidently, you're doing a little bit more than six miles an hour from what they uh, saw at the scene. Yeah, yeah, they actually yeah, totaled the front of your car all the way up to the windshield and blew out your windshield as well. Well, okay. is there a 24-hour rent a car that you guys could set me up with, maybe? We can talk about that on the way out, all right? I want you to come up and uh, sign for your paperwork, so... Now, where do I go from here? When you come out here, listen to the rules, okay? Okay? Yeah, I'm not so do try, to, try to get through the process, all right? All right, you. go Thank ahead and step so out here. Right. And trip over those webbed feet. Awesome. First three rows, go ahead and have a seat. No, left side uh, with the boys. Derek seems like he's sobering up a little bit since he came in. He's kind of a character, but hopefully he'll get himself straightened out and get some help for whatever is uh, causing this drug problem of his and keep him from getting arrested when he comes to Vegas. What are you in here for? Uh, traffic tickets, that down in the warrant, and I'm not sure what the one here is. Why don't you take care of your warrants? I was waiting for Amnesty. Go ahead and take off your jacket, your mittens. OK, have a seat. All right, Nicole, where were you tonight? I was driving my car. I know, but were you at the party? Because you all got like the glitter on your eyes and everything? It's just every day? OK. How many tasks you got? 23. Nice. Any special meaning anywhere? Or are they all special meaning? They're all special in their way. You have any kids? Mm -hmm. How many? Two. Two little? Um, not really little. Mm -hmm. Eleven and seven. Okay. Where are they at? Are they okay? Yeah, they're good. All right. Thank you. 
So you guys are together, but you got brought in separately. What happened? Um, we pulled over. Uh-huh. Just pulled over. Who was uh, driving? Nikki was driving. OK. I had a warrant. What, is your, what is your warrant for? No violation for not reporting. Why didn't you report? You know this happens when you don't report, mm -hmm. right? So you just made a conscious decision not to check in? Yeah. How long were you in prison? How long ago was that? Um, got out in June. So it was pretty June recent. Did. Yeah. How long were you in there for? 13 months. OK. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a long time. Mm -hmm. Nothing to you? All right, thank you. What was the deal with him? How did you make contact? He was a passenger in a vehicle, I believe, with the female that you guys had. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner brought her in. Basically, what happened is I'm driving down the street, and uh, the vehicle almost hit me. So, of course, I was like, all right, well, I'll run the plate. Ran the plate, comes back to a 2009 Dodge Coupe. Oh. The vehicle's a... 2001 Mazda. Right. So come to find out, she's got a whole bunch of traffic warrants. Run him up, and parole violation pops up. So they didn't even see you. They just almost ran into you? Yeah, they were making a right-hand turn as I was crossing through an intersection. So yeah, I had to almost, you know, I swerved out of the way. Way to get your attention. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it happens that way. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Did you come with a cell phone to jail? That's Sayer. Who's that? The guy that uh, had my car, and the reason okay. why I'm in here, because he had possession on him. Why are you hanging out with someone who's running around with weed? OK, it's a, what does it matter? I mean. I mean, really, that's not my, that's No, but not, you're telling me that you want to. That's wanna... not my life. What he does is mm -hmm. up to him. Did you find marijuana on me? No. I'm my own person. I'm just sport. confused because you were telling me out there you sounded like you had goals, you want to work for Homeland. I, right. You don't think they're going to background check you and anyone you hang out with to go to Homeland? OK, so just because he has a little fallback or whatnot, I'm pretty sure you guys have had something in your life where you weren't perfect before you became a cop, right? And now I get to be one of these people when I'm... I, <laughs> As soon as y'all charge me, I'll be happy because at least now I know y'all actually have something on me. All right, come on. And here, you're going to sit up here with the females. Take a deep breath. Go have a seat up there in the first or second row on the right-hand side. She said that she was here for burglary, but in fact, she's here for robbery. It's a little more serious than what she said. Now she's here, and she's sitting here, and she knows she has to deal with it. She'll get her lawyer. She'll have her day in court. Has like 23 chats. Go ahead and look up at this camera right here. This one on your arm, what does that indicate it's for you? Prison thing. All right, go like this. Did you get those in prison? No. Let me see the one on your back. Short fuse. Do you have a short fuse? Very much so. Your ticking time bomb. <laughs> According to, do you have any back here? No. Come on over here. This is the copy of your charges right there. $560. No, that's not bad. What are your plans as soon as you get out of here? I have to go to city jail when I get out of here for my other warrants. Gosh, take care of this. I heard you almost hit the patrol officer. Did you know that? No. Yeah, he says you swerved into him. He had to swerve out of your way. <laughs> way to get his attention. Oh, my god. Yeah, so that's when he ran your plate, and it was the wrong plate for that car. I've been driving to my lane. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, step over here. Listen for your name to be called. OK, go have a seat in the very first row with the other females. All right, thank you. Uh-huh. Her boyfriend was in the car with her when they got pulled over, and he hasn't checked in with parole, so he's going back to prison now. Yeah, I'm like thinking a prison would be a big deal, but not to him. This is nothing. This is their lifestyle. All oh, Winston, sit up for me. How you feeling? Feel good. Feel good? You remember what happened earlier? Yes. All right. It's a little dramatic there. All right. So you're here on vacation, right? So what are you going to do when you get out of here? Probably go back to Los Angeles. It's over? Probably. Trip's done? The Cut the losses, get out of here. It's all mass. I'm murdering All right. It shouldn't be too long. I got no problem releasing you. All right. You're calm now. You're rational, OK? You realize what happened, and you know, you're know you cooperative, which is good. That's all we want. All right. Thank you have any questions about that? No, sir. All right. Take care. 
K. Uh, on Winston apparently did a 180. Uh, he's starting to sober up. He realized that what he did was a little out of the box. He spent more time in jail than he should have based on his conduct. We first assess them real quick on their facial expressions, the way they come in. We try to talk to them and let them know that whatever happened out there is one thing. Once they're in here, we're just trying to get them through. Then we can tell if they're going to be willing to cooperate or not. You go sit there. You go sit over, over there. Wherever the officer tells me, OK? Ma'am, ma'am, listen. Let me tell you something, ma'am, listen. Let me no, tell you. I did not do nothing. I best be in isolation. Yeah, let's go this way. I wish there was a bottle of vodka. Name? Please, be quiet, please. Put me next to a cute guy and not next to a girl. You are not drawing the right attention to yourself. What's your first name? Charlie. K-A-R-A-L-E. Do you have any medical or mental health problems? No. I like to be next to cute guys. Do you take and, any medications? And nice girls and nice people. And I, 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 there's no reason we need to change the way we live the way we treat each other. If I don't have my champagne on me with strawberries, then I need something. Do you drink alcohol or do any drugs? I drink alcohol. How often do you drink? Every day. Are you going to go through withdrawals? <gasps> like you would believe. Let's go this way. No more cheat came back again. All the things are gone. I've worked for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. I've been singing since 10 years old. I read my own I songs. Can tell. So I like it. Please take your shoes oh off. God. Am I gonna get an OR? Oh, uh, so stupid. It's a jaywalking. We'll go find out. What did I do? I did. I did. I really did nothing wrong. I. I, I, I I'm gonna go look at your stuff. I skipped. I skipped all the handcuffs the first time. Okay. Maybe well, a whole okay. but All right, ma'am. There you go. Right, go ahead. Right. Thank you. Bye. A whole group of girls came in. They started yelling at each other, and she started getting in the other girl's face. So that's why we took her over here. And she seemed to be the aggressor. So. We decided I could to come smell over. the alcohol coming off of her. That's for dang sure. Very strong. I looked at her charges and that she's here for jaywalking and under the influence on a roadway. My guess is if she wasn't intoxicated, they probably would have given her a citation and sent her on her way. Hopefully, she'll be able to sleep it off. She did have an amazing voice, didn't she? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. I, w I was impressed. What are you doing here? How come you got brought in? Um, my boyfriend and I got in a fight, and he hit me. Are you here for domestic violence, then? Well, that's what he says. Who said that? The boyfriend told the officer that I hit him. What actually happened? He smacked me, and I smacked him, and I said, let's sit down and talk about this, because this is not OK. What is not OK? Um, people coming to our home, trying to repossess his car. He owes $756. So he's not paying anything off like he's supposed to be. Right. And you guys live together? I had thrown him out, and he moved in with a friend of mine. It's his birthday, so I came by, and I rang the doorbell twice. Nobody answered. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because mm -hmm. I'm worried. Like, you guys don't seem to get it. Like, he's not listening to me. He's not letting you in? Okay. And I went over there, and I was just sort of like, I pushed my way in, and I shut the door, and I locked it behind me. And granted, it's not my house. It's not my, you know, it's so not. So you're in there with him? Or no, he's no, outside He's now. outside, and I'm Of his own house? Right. Very clever. OK. The plan didn't work very well. The plan didn't work very well. So you didn't get a chance to talk to him at all before you got arrested? Not really, no. So this is still all unresolved? OK. We're gonna get you through medical, get you processed, and I'm gonna come back and talk to you, okay? This row, last chair, medical's okay. gonna call you up, okay? okay? Apparently his mail's been being delivered to Jacqueline's house, so Jacqueline was coming over to bring it over to him. When she got to the house, she forced her way into the house by pushing him back, causing redding to his neck, and she ripped his shirt, ripped his shirt open. Oh, very aggressive then. Very aggressive. So he... Turns around, she then pushes him out of the house. She shuts the door and deadbolts and locks him out. 
So he then calls 911 and says, hey, look, my ex-girlfriend physically assaulted me, and she locked me out of my own house. I talked to her. She goes, yeah, I pushed him out of his own house. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Jacqueline, over here, dear. Come on over here. Jack, okay. you understand what you're being arrested for, correct? No, I'm not sure. You're being arrested he for He hit me. Jack, just let me explain to you. Moving. Hold it still. You forcefully made your way into his house by pushing him and ripping his shirt open. Okay? No, that was that? way... No, 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 that was after the fact. Whether you understand or not, you're being arrested for battery domestic violence okay. because of your physical contact with him. It was unwanted by your ex, okay? You and cannot he physically hit me. Talk he hit me as well. Where am I, like, losing on this? You never said anything about any physical contact between him against you when I arrived. I didn't think it was relevant. You physically assaulted him. When you forcefully made entry into that home, you have never no. resided there, ever. Per your own statements, upon my arrival... Neither has he. Stop, stop. Stop. He's trying to explain okay. it to you. Mm -hmm. Upon my arrival, you said that you do not live there, nor have you ever lived there. Your ex could, if he wanted to, press charges against you for home invasion, okay? Do you understand that? That would make it worse than what it is right now. Right. Look where you are right now, okay? You did everything you could, and it didn't work out for you, so... Let's get you processed. Like, it's ridiculous, because of the fact that I was trying to be a good person. It's ridiculous. You know what? I've done everything I can for him. All right, come on. Let's go back to that back row that you were in. We're going to get through this, okay? Coming through. We're going to sober up together, and we're going to get out of here. She was just very emotional tonight, but she needs to get over him. Best of luck to her. So you don't have any more marijuana around you, though? No, I do not. Come on over here, man. Go ahead and face this way, okay? You got any more on you? I smell it. Yeah, I know. Where, where is that, though? Well, the sweater, the setup was at a, a yeah. magical house. You had weed on the sweater? No, I do not. Okay, man, I got to ask. I know, it's potent. It's very yeah, potent. Yeah, very potent. I probably thought too, man. Not to find anybody. Yeah, yeah I don't hurt anybody. I'm not in <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Did you come here on a DUI? No. No. Oh. No, that's what I thought. I thought it was wrong. yours. I no, I, I actually got some pretty big charges, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, what were you doing? I didn't smell it. Oh, I haven't had it. That was in the corner. Well, Vermi, you know this gentleman? No. I've never been arrested. Oh, I not, know. not in Vegas. Well, I don't know. The way you're talking, I thought maybe you were your friend or something. <laughs> it's my charisma. You ever been arrested anywhere before? New Jersey. How long have you lived out here? Three years. Do you like it? Not anymore. Okay, that's a good answer. That must be why you left New Jersey, too, huh? The iron cuffs aren't going to work. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work either. Good try, though, huh? Houdini. So what did you bring in? How much? Uh, like 100 plants. Oh, you were growing them at home? Yeah. You've been doing it for a while? Not long. I mean, uh, I came in here to play poker professionally, and uh, kind of had a uh, bad run of cards, to say, and then they shut down everything online, so lost yeah. some thousands on that. Made a few bad decisions. You want to flush? Here I stand. Yeah. So you're going to sell it? Or are so you going to... Smoke it off? Nah, I don't think so. I know what you're doing. Okay, man, I'm done playing with the, uh, the belly chains. So. All right, cool. Thanks for I giving me a nice up. No belly right here, all the way to the That's end, good. have a seat, and then Sear waving at you. Yeah. Good job, man. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Obviously, he's been smoking because you could smell it on his breath. He had a really strong smell. We went ahead and tried to belly chain him, but <laughs> he it's possible he could slip him off. Yeah. So we're going to expedite him through because of his disability. So he grows marijuana, basically. There was a, a search warrant, and our narcotics unit uh, asked for me to go out there. And I uh, made, made contact with him. Did he have the uh, whole cultivating setup with the lights and the correct and the fertilizer mm -hmm. and the drip system? Right. And several, several rooms in the house. And you said a total of how many plants? I think there was uh, close to 100. 100? Wow. Sean, what do you think is going to happen now? Uh, I don't know. Well, the fact that they had the red car carpet treatment, they had the uh, FBI, DEA, and, uh, God, let's see. 
B-I-B-A. Oh, yeah, and the SWAT, SWAT team come in. That was your favorite, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, that's when I really started to feel special. That's that's mm. what I knew that I, that I I messed up. So you said you moved out here three years ago. Don't they have gambling in New Jersey? Yeah, well, I mean, I wanted to play in the World Series of Poker. Uh -huh. That was the reason why I moved out here. Uh -huh. And uh, what happened was, I don't know, every year, right before the main event, I ended up, like, you know, losing money or doing something stupid right before, and uh, never ended up going through. So, I always wanted to play in the World Series of Poker. But based on the last events, I think I might just call it quits for the city for a little bit. You know what I mean? Think about going back home? Yeah, I didn't want to tuck my tail back. You got family back there? back there? Yeah. So you pretty much uh, manage very well. Yeah. Being disabled. You know, like I type 55 your... words a minute. Right. I drive a regular car. Do got you? my computer science degree. Yeah. Cool. I just adapted to the smartphone so I can mess with the touch screen now. Yeah. At least you don't give up. You keep going. Yeah. But you just tried the wrong thing this time, I think. Yeah. Or, you know, I tried the wrong thing and I hung out with the wrong person that told me for trying the wrong thing. Oh. Uh, always my situation. Really? Yeah. Been like that since you were younger? Hang out yeah. with the wrong kids? You know, I'm too smart to actually, like, screw up on my own, but uh -huh. not quite smart enough to uh, hang with the right people that aren't going to, like, you know, throw you under the bus whenever they can. So if you had a choice to do something else in life, uh, what would you One do? million percent. I like digging holes, but I can dig myself out. The only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave. All right. It was very nice meeting you. I'm sorry I had to be under these circumstances. <laughs> well, we'll get you through as soon as we can, OK? I feel you. All righty. Kicking, spitting, fighting, what's he doing? We took him in for disorderly conduct. He's very intoxicated. He calls a disturbance uh, on the casino floor, so we took him into custody, and he goes up and goes down. It's hard to read him. It's all my instructions, OK, sir? You grab my Yeah, we're going to get him. Thank you. Really? <laughs> He's got glasses in the back yeah, seat still. Glasses. Oh, really? This one. No, he Christian got all my drugs. Christopher, got your glasses. You when you're done, my face. When you're done, we'll get him on there. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Get a get. No, no, no. You need something to pull look that up down. and face the wall. It doesn't. It look doesn't, up and face the wall. It does not pull down. Listen it does him. not pull down. Listen to him, Christian. It does not pull down. You need something to pull down on that. You need something. I'm being to pull very down gentle, on. Christopher. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm, that's, that's, I'm telling it's you. It's coming off, okay? You're gonna you break my. Head. Head. No. Hey, just relax your hands, okay? My hands relax. <laughs> Don't worry, my hands right. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna get crazy. There you go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get crazy. I'm actually doing this for your protection if you want to know the truth. <laughs> Thanks for protecting me, buddy. Uh, well, really? Really. How much is this gonna cost me? You're gonna get out of jail for free if you don't mess this process up. I little, gotta go. Uh, little, I gotta go. I gotta go. Brady. Little time to sober up, and we'll fingerprint you and get you out of here. What time? We have a, uh, I gotta work at five. You may get out by then. It's gonna depend on your actions, okay? Because we can delay your OR as well. No, 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 no. Okay? So I listen have, up. I... If you're not causing any commotion, we're gonna get you processed. I we'll get you out of here. Good. You'll get out of. You'll get out of jail for free. We'll I have you fill to, out I a form and you'll be out. I have to right? work at five. Okay. I have to work at five. Okay. You might make it. Let him cool down for a little while. Extremely, extremely intoxicated. Yeah, yeah I'm a little surprised he made it. I, I honestly thought he was going to end up in the chair, but uh, we'll see if he makes it the rest of the way. Yeah, he did a great job. Thank you. Yep, thanks. What exactly happened with this guy? While well, walking to the casino, we actually uh, overheard a, a loud conversation between him and a female. We noticed that he's holding money in his hand. Well, she starts screaming out, give it back, give it back. As we approached him, we trying to calm him down. She calmed down immediately. Explained to us it was a robber and they knew each other. He jumped back, started yelling and screaming, flaring his arms around. Um, called, pretty much caused a, a disturbance great enough for them to stop gaming, to actually stop the function of the casino. Right. So um, at that time, he jumped his arms up in an aggressive manner, and I actually had to take him and actually force him to the floor. The sad part is that he's a blackjack dealer at another casino, so he should have known better, but I guess he'll learn from this experience. You'd think he's dealt with people like himself before then if he's right. uh, a dealer, so no. good. All right. I'll go home and game me. Yep. <laughs>
charge. Carolee, she was moved to another cell. She was being really loud and stuff. Um, There's other girls there who were also being disruptive earlier. So let's see how she's doing now that she's by herself. How are you feeling? Are you better? Are you tired? Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. Yeah? But I guess I just have to deal with it, right? You're going to deal with the consequences? Yeah, I guess, like, we all have to. Is this your first time in jail? No, it's not. No? Jaywalking. Second time. And I wasn't even jaywalking. There were no buttons to push. I have to sit here. It's well, not here. right. But we have it's messing up a day of my life. And I could be getting my brains out right now. I'm 36 years old. I don't have time for people's problems and issues anymore. Don't get me started. OK. I came out here on vacation. You don't think it was your choice to cross where you weren't supposed to then? I made it like a movie scene. Well, there we go. See? And now you're here. Good thing you didn't get hit by a car. I've been hit by a car before. It doesn't matter. And I still look this good. I, I don't have time for it. Wait till I audition for a movie. Just wait for that. <laughs> when are you going to audition? When you get out of here? Hell yeah. California. Oh, there you go. I use a real brass. I need, I know I need a, uh, Oh, mom. yes, they look real. They are hey, real. listen, um, we're going to have you um, stay here for a little bit longer, and then once your process is through, you'll get released, because it's, if it's only for jaywalking. I don't want to be alone. OK. So if we put you in a cell with some other girls, you'll be all right? I, I was fine next to my girlfriend. OK. Can you, I want to call up next to her. OK. All right, just have a seat, and then we'll, we'll put we'll get you, you back. back over there, OK? And if you could show us you could get along, you could stay over there with them, OK? Put me back over there. How much longer? Like 10 minutes. Hey. You just had some mood swings. So you, you were doing uh, the online poker for a while? Yeah, I was playing online poker. You ever enter the live tournaments here? Yeah, I did great for a while. That's good. And then bad luck hit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the house seems to win here more than not. So the stuff you got wrapped up in tonight, is that trying to build your bankroll back up or just yes, to make a mistake? Absolutely. absolutely, yeah. Trying to get back into winning in poker again? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know what's going to happen from here, but yeah. I'll, I'll figure something out. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully this time it won't be as illegal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or at least I won't get caught. Doing something legal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do something that's legal and put that brain to work. Yeah, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to take it like a man and handle my business, move yep. on to the next stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's a great attitude to have. Yep. You got a positive outlook on it, so. Yep. You know what your bell amounts are and everything? Anybody go over that no, one yet? Nobody told me anything. All right, your total bell is going to be 25000 So Easy. It's, it's a lot of money. A lot. Well, there you go. Unless you got somebody you can call that can bring down 25000 and you can go yeah, through the uh, Time for jail. Time for yeah. jail. <laughs> Sean, you're going to listen up for your name out here, because they're going to be calling you a few times. There's a few different stations you're going to be going to, OK? Take a seat in the third row here, OK? Thank you. You're welcome. He's definitely got a positive outlook on life, and hopefully he won't make any more poor choices and better luck at poker. Yeah, he's probably a smart kid. Yeah, it I seems like it. It's yeah. well-spoken. Yeah. Well, good luck to him. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see him again. Yeah. Not in here. Yeah, <laughs> not in here. Get your picture taken, okay? See the little red box down there? Go ahead and stand over there real quick. We'll get you in the computer. You got a disorderly conduct. It's a very minor charge. My girl borrowed me a little extra money, and we were joking. I was like, hey, I don't owe you 300. She was like, you owe me three. Said, that. I owe you two. We were joking. They took it as domestic, and. Well, actually, they didn't take it that serious because well, they only did okay, a disorder. They didn't take it that yeah. serious. Luckily, they didn't because that's a lot more serious. Well, they should know. $3,000 bell, yeah. Wow. Cops heard us arguing about it and took me in. Why weren't you playing poker? <laughs> well, because I lost my money. So oh, lost I went money. to blackjack to get it back. Ah, batting hundreds a clip. Didn't work. 100 bucks a pop? Yeah. Because you could do 20s and get five hands out of it. 
<laughs> yeah, I could get five 20s and they make a magic six card 21. Why don't I just get it over with in one shot? Yeah, true. That's why I don't gamble, that's for sure. Go big or go home. All right. I should've went home. <laughs> should've went home sooner, yeah. Um, I blew okay, it. here you go. There's a copy of your chart, okay? Disorderly conduct, uh, getting out of jail for free, okay? All right, here we go. Right back up to where you were, okay? They'll be with you in a little bit, all right? First three, Russ. First three. Boom, boom, boom. He seemed like he was a different person from when he came in, so hopefully we won't have any further problems with him. some tourists that unfortunately come into CCDC because they've done things that normally in their hometown wouldn't be a big deal. Doesn't mean Vegas is a bad place. Have fun, but don't overdo it. There's still rules and there's still people watching here while you're in Vegas. I was in the back seat looking at the rear view mirror with cars just flying past me on the strip. Are you here from out of town? Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. Put your hands up here. Okay. Wasn't really where I wanted it when I was getting uh, thrown around 50 miles an hour down the strip. I'll show you guys. It was Were you cool. in whose car? I was at the back of your paddy wagon. Why did they bring you in, though? Uh, domestic disturbance with my boyfriend. Oh, I see. Because I decided not to get him in trouble, so I got brought here. I see. I've seen the last show. They'll call you up, okay? What is she here for? Battery domestic violence. She claimed she didn't want to get the boyfriend in trouble, so she came instead. Well, when we saw her boyfriend having all the marks, that kind of pieces with her story. So, I kinda, so I she kinda. ended up being the primary arrest. Gotcha. First flight out, I will be gone. If you guys could get your hands out of your pockets and get the show on the road, I'd be out of here already. Sit there and wait for the process. I'm not to from through. Nevada, I'm from Wisconsin, and the process would have been done three hours ago. What are you in here for? You know what? I'm not exactly sure. Domestic, maybe? Because I didn't feel like talking or getting my boyfriend in trouble since we're over 3,000 miles from home. So I sat there, and next thing I knew, I was thrown on the back of a squad car. You police officers, do whatever you want. Welcome to Vegas, huh? Drinking a bit? No, not at all. It's Vegas. What do you think? I think maybe you shouldn't drink so much. You think you so? You know what? I'm a nursing student who has almost graduated. I have a lot of intelligent friends, many who are district attorneys. So you do not need to talk to me like I'm in, unintelligent? I'm not. I'm asking some basic yeah. questions. I'm in Las Tell Vegas. Yes, I had a couple drinks. Not... Yes, I went to the casino. You know what? I won a lot of money. It's in my purse. And if you guys could get your hands out of your pockets, I could bail my oh. self out. When the officer finishes your report, I know, in like system. eight hours, because that's through. how long it takes for you guys. No, it doesn't take eight no, hours. No, it doesn't, because no. your big belly and your hands sitting there, and you yeah. sit around. You guys ain't even doing anything. He's no, telling me no that I'm there. unintelligent, and I don't know what I'm talking about, and I should have no. shut my drunken mouth. Is that not what you said to me? No, that's not what I said. Oh, no, no what did you say then? I'm pretty sure you told me that my drunken mouth got me in this situation, when you have no idea you what even talking, happened to me. I keep telling you that I can see how you got here. You have no idea how I got here. Red. How did I get here? Red. I didn't feel like arguing with my oh, boyfriend. Are sergeant. you asking me what happened, or are you telling me I'm guilty? Booking sergeant. Exactly. No, I was asking. Then what happened, walk the away. Anything. Let's go this way, ma'am. I feel sorry for you. High school must have sucked. Let's move her back here to a side cell. Let her get some alone time, and she'll be ready to get released later on. Yeah, innocent until proven guilty, right, sir? No, this has nothing to do with oh, what you're charged with. Oh, that's what it sounds like. It has to do with how you're acting while you're here. Not disruptive at all. <laughs> Her judgment probably would be a whole lot better without all that alcohol in her. And after she's taken a little nap, some of that alcohol's worn off, she'll probably be a completely different person. So what's going on today? I don't know. Well, obviously. What did you get arrested for? For nothing. You got arrested for nothing? Come here. Go down there. Just see her real Please. quick, and then you can go right in the bathroom. Go ahead. All the way down. Ah. See her waving to you? Keep going. Yeah. Sir? Yeah. Sir? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Mama, I love you. Have you ever been here before, God. Jesus? No. Never. Do you one have a... You drink one beer? How many drinks did you have last night? Last night to now? Sure. I, I drink a lot. You did a lot? Okay. At least I did like 20 20? At least. Okay. Okay, here you go. Come here. Let's try. Let me go to the Right here. Go ahead. This one? 
No, sir. Over here. Oh, this one. What's he in for? Trespassing. He was inside the casino. He grabbed one of the waitresses in the car. He was yelling and cussing at us all the way down here. Yeah. Yeah. So he was just intoxicated and they wanted to get him out of there and he yeah. didn't want to leave? Exactly. And he told me he only had two beers. So. Yeah. He added a zero to that number yeah. just a second ago. So <laughs> good. Come, Come over here. Right there. Watch your, uh, you're going to sit in the wrong spot there. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, well. Ah! Uh, I told you. Oh, why are you permitting to see him? I told you not to sit there. I said, watch yourself. Yeah, he's got the going into Vegas to have a good time. All right. And I'm right here. Think of this story when you go back home. You'll you be able to tell everybody how you visited Clark That's County what Detention I Center. To my wife. All right, here's your OR. You got to fill it out. For what? This means you get out of jail without having to pay bail. You get out for free. I'm not going to tell you that. No, if you want to get out of jail for free, you got to fill this out. It'll be about eight hours. I'm not going to say uh -huh. that because, um... All right, that's fine. All right. That's, that's right. his you choice. You signed it. Okay. Right. You're just sentencing yourself to right. more time in jail. <laughs> yeah, he was going we'll to let you have a seat. Can I? Have a seat. Okay, okay. I'm we'll, sorry, but I'm We'll man. let you sober up a little bit, and we'll try again in a little while. Your 20 Takatis are affecting your judgment. No, I was at 30. 30. 30, 30 now? Okay. We'll talk to you about it later. He's yeah, bothering him. Submit over here a little bit. So yeah, we'll get this on. one through. Okay, the just other keep an eye on and make sure he doesn't cause too much of a disruption. All right. Sir. We get a lot of new people in that have never been incarcerated before. So it's really important as soon as they get into the facility that we explain the rules and regulations so that they can get through this process as fast as possible and as safely as possible. Special Pete's revealing that my individual rights are being Sir, mostly violated. They already did this to me once. They should have told you. Well, it's going to be done a few more times. you guys strip me naked right here? How about Sir, that? listen, do okay? That. Just relax. Once you're under arrest, you have the right to search you. Under arrest for popping a tire? No, I think you're under arrest for something else. I think I was pulled over for popping a tire. Okay. And I thought that they were there to help, and I was like, hey, guys. Yeah. Help with well, this they door. probably originally oh, were there to help. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I've never been arrested before. I've got a blood yeah. draw, so it's to you. So you're under the influence of something. Yeah, my medication that I'm prescribed. But I'm sure the prescription says you're not supposed to operate a motor vehicle. Is it advisable to be aware? Explain everything once you get to the other side. Have a seat way over there. Yeah. I'm saying, and he, he was northbound on I-15, struck a wall, appeared confused, disoriented, uh, didn't realize he even hit a wall. Didn't, wow. He said he was just looking for a place to fix his flat tire. He admitted to taking prescription drugs, totally disoriented, ran through field sobriety tests, which he failed. Now we're here. Yeah, he told me that when he saw you, he just thought you were a nice officer, was going to help him with his pop tire, so. I helped him with his pop tire. Story's a little different. Yep. No one asked me if they could search my car once. Well, you already had something on you. Come on. I didn't have anything on me. Let's go in here. I had a flat tire. You hit a wall. That's how you got a flat tire. Do you remember hitting the wall? I remember hitting the wall accurately. So... And I also remember a bunch of curvy weight Why did you hit the wall? Because the lanes are on the 95. Oh, well, then if you can't stay in the lanes, then maybe you shouldn't drive. You know, you want to flush my pills away, it's fine. I just want to get back to my home. I don't want my dog being taken over by... He's a sensitive creature. What kind of dog do you have? He's a half pit, half sharpe. And who's watching him now while you're here? I have no idea because they, I can't get answers from people. Was he in the car with you? Yes. Oh. And I wanted to just have my parents come pick him up so that we can do this like reasonable adults. Animal control has your dog. That's I what I give you the information like. where your dog is at. That's what I don't like. He's not good around your dog others. Will be picked up. Listen, when you get over into the next room, you're going to be able to make a phone call. Call your parents. They can go down there and get your dog for you. Will they do that for you? Yeah, you know, they will. What's your other question? question is, I don't think I failed any of these tests that I was given. I, I'm a superb counter. I do it for a living. Well, the concern was is that you hit a wall. You, you weren't Honestly, driving in the bad. lane. Yeah. That's a concern, so. It happened to me before, and you know what the cop did? He got out, and he helped me change my tire. So that's what I'm So you've done about. this before? Yeah, I've hit something before. I've popped a tire before. It's happened. You're here now, so while you're here, you have to be cooperative. I'm trying to be. All right, come on. Let's go back outside. Sit back down. I'm sorry for being difficult with you guys. I'm just a little confused. Go ahead, Nicholas, and sit right there. 
This is his first time ever being arrested, and we'll keep an eye on him and give him all the information about where he can get his dog. We'll see how he does. All right, I'm going to bring him right now. Come on. Come on, it's your turn. Come on. We'll do that in one minute, okay? okay? Listen to my instructions. I want you to follow the rules. First time I asked. Step up here, please. Here you go. You got listen to me. Stop. Don't throw stuff. Don't do anything aggressive. Don't do anything that's going to cause attention, okay? We're not going to put up with it. Do you understand me or not? You don't take stuff and throw it, okay? I'm talking to you. You better know, figure know, it out I know, quick. I know. Take the pen nicely. You want to be, you want to be the hero in, in No, the it's camera. not about being a hero, okay? okay? okay. John, John, it's John, about... Please. Listen to me. Okay, I, Listen I, I, to okay. me. Okay. Be really careful. Right here. Can be I? Be careful right of your here. next move, okay? Right here? Um, okay. Wait. Uh, you're not complying, okay? We've given you plenty of opportunities to follow the way we ask you to follow. At some point, we have to stop. For right. what? So we'll, give you, we'll give you an opportunity. Come on. We'll give you an opportunity to sober up, and then we'll finish later. What did you? Nothing. Step in. Have a seat right here. We'll come check on you in a couple hours. Stay there until we close the door. Obviously very intoxicated, causing a disturbance out there. You did a good job trying to talk right. to him. And... Hopefully once he sobers up a little bit, we can uh, reason with him. You know what? The good thing about a shelter is they're really good to the animals. It's safer than being stuck in your car, right? He's a very sensitive creature. Well, make sure that your parents and get notified and call them. I got into an accident and I'm being arrested for it. Probably wasn't a good idea to drive on your medicine. Maybe, but that's not a crime. Yeah, it is a crime because if you would have wrecked into somebody and hurt them, do you, do you think that's okay? No, but the pill bottle says may affect you under the operation of machinery. It doesn't say it's a crime to take your medicine. Okay, but it's a crime to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol while you're driving a motor vehicle. Even when I aced every one of their sobriety tests? I'll do the alphabet backwards in less than 10 seconds. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J H G F E D C B N A. I am not in any way inebriated. That is amazing. How did you learn to do that? There are certain things that I'm not going to respond the way that they expect me to. And there's other things that I can easily prove I'm sober. And I don't want my dog to be. What did I tell you about your dog? I'm sorry. I have bad anxiety and stuff. I see that. You didn't take any Xanax today? No, I took half of one, and that's why I'm here, I guess. All right. Well, let me go see if your paperwork's done so I can get you in the next room so you can make a phone call, okay? Thank you. He said that he aced all of his field sobriety tests. With the uh, Xanax that he admitted to taking, uh, his eyes were all over the place. He was unable to focus. We have him estimate 30 seconds in their own head. He estimated 30 seconds in a minute and 10, indicating a very slow internal body clock. OK, thank you. Yeah. All right, Nicholas, come on. The officer, the arresting officer, left you a number here for animal control. So you can go get your dog. What's your dog's name? Rufus. Rufus, so you'll be able to pick Rufus up. You're charged with DUI drugs with accident and possession of the drugs without a prescription and hit and run, OK? Did I hit somebody? You hit property, hit and run property. Come on over here. Am I going to be put in the cell? <laughs> well, you know what? If you have anxiety issues, we'll try and put you in the back row so you don't have to be in a cell, OK? We'll let medical know that you're having anxiety issues right now. Come on. Thank you. Got to hold it together out here, all right? This isn't the end of the world. You're going to be fine. OK? Probably be out by the end of the day. Get your dog back. Work things out with your family, OK? Good luck. You'll be fine. So Nicholas is a little emotional right now. He's never been arrested before, and he seems to have some anxiety issues. We'll get him through the process, and I think he'll be OK. Am I going 
go talk to Kelly. She was being disruptive in uh, pre-arrest, and she was taken back to side cell so she can calm down. I'm going to see how she's uh, behaving. What happened? Huh? I said, what happened? I went to lunch, and when I came back, you were gone. Can I get my pen so I can call my attorney? I'm not from here. I'm from Wisconsin. I am not from here. I want to call my attorney, and I want to just get on my flight and go home. Unfortunately, you came back here. I'm not said, even guilty, that's why. Because I'm going to well, the, sit the, and act the, like I did something wrong when I did it. Well, see, see how you're acting right now? That's not going to help you. you got to stay calm. I hear you freeze and whatever. You guys feel like that's fine. Well, unfortunately, she's still getting emotional, crying and getting loud, and she wants to go home, which I understand, but she's not understanding that she needs to just calm down, pay attention, and behave. It all depends on her whether she comes out right now or later. Come over here, ma'am. Stand right here. Facing the wall. Spread your feet. Why are you in here? I don't know, for trespassing at MGM. I went okay. to see David Copperfield. OK. I'll I have to talk to my attorney. OK. Have a seat. You came all the way from Canada by yourself? Yeah. I spent a few days in Vegas, and I went to see David Copperfield's show. Did I they tell you why you were trespassing? They just sort of uh, surrounded me and said, but they reserve the right to trespass anybody they want to because it is a private property. Right, that, which and is I true. Showed, well, maybe. I don't know your laws, but I have the ticket. I don't deserve that. Right. I didn't attack anyone. I'm Canadian. Have you tried to see him before? I went before to this show. Here, OK. Yes, in Las Vegas. How long ago? On the 2nd. Oh, OK. And then you want to see him again? Of course. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, okay. It's amazing. I have no idea how he does it. I got the most expensive ticket because... Do you want to be closer uh, up? Yes, A. Yes. And B, it allows you to take a picture with him. What so do you do? I am concert pianist. Wow. I'm a performer. That's why I appreciate David Copperfield, because I do perform on the stage. Right. I'm not an illusionist, right. but I'm a pianist. Oh, wow. I perform solo concerts. I'll see what I can find out, OK? Thank you. She was trying to get into the theater where David Copperfield performs, and they were telling her that she couldn't go in there. And she was telling him that no, she had to meet him for I don't know what kind of reason. She was pretty adamant about that. They told her she had to leave. She kind of acted a little crazy at that point. Security has seen her before. They think that she's kind of stalking him. She has a little bit of an obsession with him, I guess. So I think that's why they thought it was very prudent to place her into custody and have her arrested for trespassing. Wow, OK. Janina, stand right there in that red box. Janina, you were here on the 4th no, of this month. I know, because a security guard at the airport attacked me and beat me up. I was Did just you? shopping at the gift shop, and he put me in handcuffs, and I told him, like, I'm a classical pianist. You cannot do that. And he said to me that I'm a classical moron. Oh, OK. Yeah, but, but that it, was very nice. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter who you are if you're breaking a rule or you're bre breaking Which breaking a, a rule? I was shopping at the gift shop. I did nothing wrong. Vegas is not lucky for you. You end up in jail all the time. Exactly. That's and funny. in handcuffs. Yeah. A classical pianist in handcuffs. Go have a seat. When I call you back in, we're going to take those handcuffs off. Thank you. All right. That would be very much appreciated. You're welcome. You are. It's very nice of you. You Thank are you. very pretty. Thank you. I wish I had your nose. My nose is big. Yeah, I like my nose. Thank you. You know what that is? This is ivory. That's beautiful. Yeah. I have a good taste. <laughs> yes, very pretty. My piano keys are ivory. Janina, I spoke to the officer that went and detained you. They said you were very persistent in trying to meet David. I David paid. I paid for it. I, I, I met with him. But because you pay for a ticket to see somebody doesn't mean you have to meet them, though. They don't have to... I'm sorry, but you don't understand. Do you think classical pianists, they have to be treated a special way? Yes, with my hands, yes. Really? Because this is my job. OK. If my hands are damaged, I cannot do my job. Do you understand? I'm losing a little bit my patience with you. Do you understand English? All right. Do you realize what your issue is? Maybe you get too aggressive, and that's why Maybe you're getting you kicked out Maybe you are getting too dumb. 
with me? You're going to end up in a cell where you're not going to be able to call your lawyer. Would you like me to put you there? No. The my problem. attorney has a different story about me. Because he has your side of the story. Of course. Yeah. Somebody has to be on my side, don't you think so? You got to pay him, though. Come here, Janina. Remember, like last time, just sign it there for your money, here for your stuff. You're going to get released in 4 to 12 hours from now. I suggest you don't act the way you were acting out there. You just sit there and we're follow the rules. There. At the MGM or at the casino. We're at the MGM, I yes. bought the ticket. OK. And I was Do you understand what I'm telling show. you? Yeah. OK. Let's go this way. You're going to sit on the front row, right hand side. Thank you. Being a musician, she thinks she can do whatever she wants. Come in here, and um, she just can't. It doesn't matter who you are. If you break the laws, you break the laws, and you end up here. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight.